great. Good morning. Good morning. It's, uh, I'm excited to be here and to uh, be starting off our, uh, our summer training uh, in NLP. And some of you I have met before, we've talked through the phone, and uh, we get to see you all here together. Uh, first of all, uh, this is, uh, there are a few people here who are here for two days for an introduction to NLP. Actually, Rachel's here for one day. Uh, she's going to be doing the training in the fall, but uh, is here for the first day here. Uh, I'm Stephen Leeds, and I'm one of the co-directors of the NLP Center of New York, uh, along with my partner, Dr. Rachel Hott, and uh, those of you who will be here for the full training will get to meet both of us, as well as uh, a couple of other trainers, so you're going to get a really full experience of NLP here this summer. The, um, actually, when I was, I was coming in today, I realized that uh, I took uh, NLP my first time in 1980, which actually means that half my life I have been uh, uh, exposed uh, to NLP. Because I'm 57 and I figure that's 28 years, so it's just about, uh, just about half. And it's, it's been a journey. It's been, uh, uh, it's been a really, for me, a marvelous journey since I started taking it in 1980. Uh, I started studying with Richard Bandler and John Gringer uh, when they were actually, it was it was actually the, they, they were sort of the end of their partnership. They had just I think it started around 1975 when they wrote their first book in NLP, and then it lasted about five years. And then by 1980, they were going their separate ways. And uh, uh, and NLP has continued to thrive. I'm uh, when I first learned it, this is something that I thought um, is not just a uh, Bad and something that I thought would really grow over time, and here we are, you know, 28 years later. And NLP, I think, is as strong and as uh, um, uh, exciting and interesting and cutting edge as as it was back then. So I'm really pleased to be uh, involved with this uh, this model, and I'm really excited to be able to present it to you. Uh, just a little bit of background. I've uh, Rachel and I started the NLP Center of New York in 1986, so we've been doing this for 22 years. And it's, uh, as you'll, Rachel and I are business partners, we're um, spouses, we uh, have uh, raised a couple of kids. Actually, our, our son was saying, you know, maybe I'd be interested in NLP. We're thinking, oh, no, that'd be an interesting thing to have, have our kid uh, in our training one day. Um, and, uh, but, in any case, um, the, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit of what is NLP. And some of you, uh, how many of you think you know what NLP is? Anyone think they know? That's a nice that's good idea. Uh, yeah. Because if you don't know, you actually might be a little bit ahead. Because sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the ideas people come in, it's like hypnosis. People have this idea of what hypnosis is. But I would be interested, what is your idea? of NLP, if you would like. I think of it as uh, a really great way to, to create a model of something. So a, a lot of things that NLP, that I read about about NLP, it's all about achievements and resources, but in essence, it's about models, mm -hmm. I think. I would say that, uh, I would actually say it's a great um, starting definition. Because NLP is 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 about modeling, is about our models of the world. That each one of us, if if you were to switch places with the person sitting next to you, you would be perceiving the world in a completely different way. We each we each have a different model. We we each have a different map. Um, when you talk in NLP about the maps, um, our individual map, and what you get to do is learn about your own map in NLP, and you get to learn about other people's maps. And the, I use the word map and model interchangeably. So each one, of the, each one of us has a unique map, a unique model of the world. And by, uh, through the NLP process, as far as your own map goes, you get to learn how to step back from yourself, from your own model, and to be able to be aware, to be um, to be conscious of how you 
uniquely perceive the world. Now, some of our perceptions, uh, we wouldn't want to change, some of our filters and how we see the world, but some of them could also be limiting. So we basically look at our map as both useful and potentially limiting. And to be able to step back and look at how we operate in the world gives us a different perspective. So NLP is very much about taking on different perspectives, not the correct perspective. You know, I'm, I, I don't believe there is a correct way of looking at things, a correct perspective. There are just many perspectives. And by modeling other people, by asking other people certain questions, you're able to learn about their map and their model, how they operate, uh, their abilities. So it, it, there's something that we'll learn called the meta model, which is a set, set of questions, how to uh, understand someone, how to listen to someone, how to ask questions to get a better sense. Now, it, it's not like, uh, uh, I don't know if we can ever truly step into another person's map completely. That's debatable. But we can certainly approximate it. We can certainly get a better sense of how other people think. So that we, because uh, for the most part, I think we make an assumption that, uh, that when, the, when someone uses a certain word, they mean the same thing we mean. Going through the NLP course, you get to realize how people's words mean something often very different from what you mean. So if someone speaks about love, or someone speaks about respect, or someone speaks about um, honesty, what they may be talking about may be very different from the words you mean. So the, the, the piece of NLP about modeling is to be very curious and inquisitive and to be and, and to learn how to be comfortable not knowing what a person means curious enough to really find out what they truly mean so part of the NLP journey is about being comfortable not knowing for sure but inquiring being curious and asking certain questions that will help you understand and have a clear representation of how someone else is thinking, feeling, and perceiving. Rachel, you were going to add something in terms of that? Uh, yes, yeah, just in terms of definition, this is something that's part of some of the little research that NLP and my understanding of it is um, it's, it's a model of how to change behavior through the use of um, um, looking at some perspectives. Mm -hmm. and And if you think about this, uh, Rachel's mentioning the idea of changing perspectives. By changing the way we think, we will influence how we act and how we feel. So in some ways, um, I, when I, actually another definition of NLP is it's a, it's a model for influencing our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Or maybe to say another way, it's a model for influencing thoughts, feelings, and behaviors in oneself and in others. So as those of you who are here as a um, looking for being a coach, a mental health counselor, you are looking when you're working with people, how do I influence, how do I help someone else influence their own thoughts, feelings, and behaviors at the same time? NLP is about influencing. How do I, when I change my perspective, I'm influencing my own thinking. And if I'm influencing my own thinking, it will have an effect on my emotional state. It can't not. Our thoughts and our feelings are interacting.